Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, I am in Boston. My dad just had an appointment and I was a mile and a half from one of my favorite thrift stores here on Calm Ave. So I'm going into the local Goodwill for a little retail therapy. <music> All right, I think the new color is blue. I've never picked up 70s high slim straights before, but I really like the style of these. And there's a light wash as well. So I'm gonna grab those. This is, oh, that has a stain on it. This is Lily Pulitzer. I'm not a fan of strapless. I'm gonna put that back. These are some Lululemon. I've owned these before and they're so comfy. They're an older style, but I think I'm gonna grab those for me. These are some Acris Punto. Uh, yellow is the half off tag. So these will be half off. This might be something I would send to the real real. This is a new with tag. Whoops, free people beach sweater. I really like the style of it. The price tag is $128. They have it at $14.99. I'm gonna check comps, but I really, really love this goodwill. The lighting is really good here so I can really check things out. I like this Madewell sweater. It's a double XL, some pilling. I'm gonna see what year it is, see if it's worth grabbing. There is 30% alpaca, you know I love that. Uh, 2020, that's not bad. I think I might grab it even with a little bit of pilling just because it's a double XL. a couple cute accessories I love picking up this series this will probably never leave my house so cute what do you think about these for Valentine's Day they're in really great condition J crew um, they are eight dollars I don't know uh, this French press looks gorgeous another thing that may not leave my house new with tag $5.99 I saw these Zara boots, which I'm, I usually don't pick up white but because they're usually trash, but these are gorgeous. This is a 1X vintage mohair sweater, just beautiful. I haven't seen any, um, it's so classic. I haven't seen any uh, holes. I'm looking, I need to hop in line now because my meter is going to run out soon. I have 25 minutes left. I spent $174. My receipt's in the back. I'm not sure how many items I got, but I have two giant bags. Pretty excited about a couple pieces. Let's drive home and see what I got. All right, so it is the next day. I am home and I'm ready for this fantastic haul. I will say that the two coats that I picked up after doing some research, I'm hoping that between those two coats, I will pay for everything in today's haul and then have some profit to boot. If you're enjoying today's video and you like thrift with me's and haul videos, be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing to this channel if you would like to go on more thrifting adventures with me. Let's jump right into the coats. This is, I just looked this up, this is the Anthropology Chenille Tapestry Parka. The two coats that I got that I'm hoping will pay for all of this, one is from Anthropology, one is from J. Crew, and they are both plus sizes, which is fantastic because I struggle to find awesome fashion in plus sizes, and I was so excited about both of these and the fact that this coat was a 1x and the j crew was a size 16 was just like icing on the cake so this coat is just fantastic it was hanging up and i had asked the associate twice to take it down for me and then he got sidetracked and was working with other customers so i walked away went back was eyeing it i had no idea what the brand was i just thought it was gorgeous this is what it looks like it is very um it's not it's chunky without being heavy you know what i mean um it's beautiful it has this denim lining here and then the tapestry pattern it is just such a statement piece absolutely stunning 398 dollars is what this retailed for i paid 19.99 
This is one of the stores that I often will pay up for because I just think they have great things in their boutique. This is the Goodwill in Boston on Com Ave, as I mentioned. The most recent sales on this coat were 125, 175, and 100. Those two middle ones were new with tag and then $55. None of these were above a size medium. So I'm thinking that because this is a size 1X, we're probably in even better shape. There is one other 1X listed. It is not new with tag and it's listed for $199. So maybe I'll list this for $175. Come in a little bit lower. This coat by J. Crew is absolutely beautiful. This is the Lady Day Coat in Shimmer Tweed. This is just stunning. This is just so classy. It has this sparkle fabric black tweed with these gorgeous buttons with gold trim. Just a timeless, classy coat. This kind of has a little vintage vibe to it, but the sparkle is just so gorgeous. I love a little bling with a classic style. It's a really nice combo. And again, this is a size 16 by J. Crew, and this also was just $19.99. Um, now this coat retailed for $425. I think I'm going to list mine for about 160. Recent comps sold between 130 to 160. 110, I think, to 160. 110 being on the lower side, and that was one that was um, not new with tag, and then the 160 was new with tag, and there was like a couple for 130 in between. Again, nothing in a plus size. I'm hoping that will work in my favor and I can price a little on the higher side, but so exciting. And the retail on this one was over $400. So those were two incredible scores. Even though I paid $20 each, I would pay $20 all day long for items like that. I did end up getting this Free People Beach sweater. It's just a very nice, simple, textured sweater. Um, it is a size extra small, but as you know, Free People runs big. Now this was $14.99. I'm not gonna get as big of a return on this sweater as I will on those coats for just a $5 difference. So $14.99, but this is new with tag. So I have that going for me. And the original price on this sweater I mean, I know free people, they mark their stuff so high, the retail, but it was $128. So 128, I spent 15. Even if I list it at 60 and it sells in the $50 range, I would be pretty happy with that. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. If I price it a little bit higher, I'll probably be sitting on it longer. I'll have to check comps and see uh, which direction I wanna go in. This I took a little bit of a chance, but I was having so much fun finding some plus size items that I decided to grab this. And I've mentioned before, if it's a vintage piece or something that I'm not picking up for a brand, I really constantly concentrate on fabric content and style and this was a plus size like duster style sweater and it had mohair and I loved the color and style. I've been really liking green lately. I'm not typically a person who loves green but there's something about it this season that I'm really liking green with black or green with cream or ivory just so pretty and check out this sweater. Um, it's this beautiful length green mohair sweater in beautiful condition and it has these really vintage looking these are just such these look like earrings i had in the 80s uh kind of celtic looking actually this would be a great saint patrick's day sweater so beautiful the length is just gorgeous so you know what i'm wondering if my friend marguerite would love this it's made in hong kong it's really beautiful She's my little Irish friend. She'd be so cute in that. Uh, again, with these oversized sweaters sometimes, even if you're like a size large, if I think in terms of a brand like Free People, this is something that Free People would sell. This would be maybe marked as a medium or large in some cases, and then people just wear them slouchy and off the shoulder with maybe like something fitted underneath. So I'm very excited about this. It's vintage, it's mohair. There aren't gonna be really comps on this sweat sweater. If I'm lucky, I might find a couple, but I will probably price this between 50 and $75 and see how it does. This is, what is this? Oh, figs. I don't know if I showed these in the video. I just left. Um, Dana Farber after being with my dad and like there are just so many young professionals buzzing around the hospital and figs are a really popular brand in the land of scrubs so these are some figs I don't know that I've ever found this style I found mostly traditional scrubs and these are like joggers they're really cute they look like they're a size small and they have like a little gray drawstring um, not finding the size here oh actually these were yellow 
Yellow is the half off tag. I wonder if they must have seen it. Oh, hold on, my husband's calling. Okay, I'm back. So those fig pants look like they're a size small, but I cannot locate the size right now. I'm really excited about those. These will probably be like between 30 and $40. Uh, this was another yellow tag item that I found. These are a crease punto pants. These were priced at $12.99, half off. So they were just $6 and change and they are just nice pants. Usually I feel like this brand is extremely dated, the type, the styles that I find. And this tag looks, you know, relatively new. I wouldn't say that it's like brand spanking new, but these are a size US 14. So some really decent uh, pants in good sizes. They are like a cropped, like a little above the ankle, black pants, very classic style, uh, extremely nice. I'm hoping that I can sell these on my own because I feel like pants, at uh, the real real don't go for so much more from we the free this was just with the regular population this is a free people oversized um, striped pullover uh, sorry I lost my words there for a second I want to say this these were like five dollars and fifty cents oh I like the sleeve here there's a little bit of pleating on the sleeve I loved the mixed pattern and the mixed fabric that they use sometimes with their pieces so this is really cute uh, this is actually size medium but of course it would probably fit up to a large or an extra large i feel like my sweatshirt is choking me i also feel like it's almost time to order some new thrifted as the new black sweatshirts these are going on like two years old now and i know that in the beneath the screen on youtube you can order these through teespring in like a variety of different colors if you want some merch <laughs> thank you I got this because it was new with tag and again it was part of like that $5.50, $6 range. The price tag was $39.99, little Patriots Pride, Boston stuff does pretty decent on my page of course, so I thought this was really cute. I've mentioned this brand 47 before but this is one of my favorite um, professional sports brands. These were some of the first things that I found when I went in, and these are Levi's 70s high slim straight pants, and these are like the perfect jean based on the style of them for right now, I feel. Um, you know, skinnies don't seem to be doing so well these days, and these are just like a nice straight leg, high rise. I've never sold this 70s high slim straight. Some of the comps were really promising. There was a woman there that said all of the pants are $6.49. I'm like, what about jeans? She's like, jeans too, all the pants. But then when I got to the register, these were $7.49. I probably would have still picked them up anyways because a lot of the comps were north of $50. So I got um, the dark wash and the light wash and they're both a size 30, which is a size 10. So again, I was really happy with the sizing that I was finding on this trip. So we'll see how those do. I don't know if I showed this in the thrift with me portion. It's an anthropology sweater. Uh, it's Pilcro, and I just loved the look of it. It's a size small, just a nice open knit in this rust color. You guys all know I love so much. I like the sleeves on this too. Kind of like a three quarter length sleeve. Probably what you could layer this up with something underneath. Um, although the 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 center part doesn't have all of the open knit. I thought it was just really pretty really pretty sweater, cozy time of year. I never know when to like put the brakes on sweaters. Uh, they've been selling for me. So I, I think February, I start to slow down and then by March, I'm really thinking of spring, but we're in full winter mode right now. Okay, this was the one brand that I've never heard of and bought because I forgot to look up comps and I was at the register and I was like, what do I do, what do I do? And then I said, go for it. <laughs> I thought it was cute and the branding was really interesting. Uh, it's this real nautical looking sweatshirt. It's just a pullover, but the detail is so beautiful. So the brand is Naketano, N-A-K-E-T-A-N-O. Look, look at the branding on this so beautiful and then like this is like a full-on rope like rope rope heavy rope with little leather on the end i mean the branding was just so beautiful and being close to the cape and martha's vineyard and nantucket island we we love our nautical gear around here also the trim on this looks like leather trim it's so well made so well made so i'm gonna look this up real quick ever heard of it it's a first for me. 
but I always like to find new brands and check them out and see how they will do. Anywhere between $35 and $100 for listings, but let's look at sold. They seem to all be hoodies with that signature um, rope through the collar. So a lot of varying styles. I'm actually not seeing this. It looks like it has potential to do very well and I'm not seeing any of my particular style and it's an extra large. So yay, new brand here. Nake Tano, love it, okay. This is a Madewell in a double XL. Wow, I didn't realize how many larger sizes I got that I was excited about. This sweater has an alpaca blend and it had a little bit of pilling but nothing that was gonna scare me off for the price and the size and the style and the fabric content. So I loved all those things. I might even try this on. Looks like a nice slouchy sweater in this beautiful tan color. Uh, Madewell, I also think this was more of a recent, recent style as well. It is from holiday of 2020. There's a tag on most Madewell clothing that will tell you the season and the style number, which is really great when you're trying to look up sold comps on things. So this says HO20, which is holiday of 2020, and then the style number at the top. So that'll be super easy to look up for me. This I went over with a fine tooth comb and I really hope it's okay because sometimes silk has a way of having little stains that I miss. This is an equipment femme. This is a very solid brand. I think it's definitely come down a bit in value, but brand new, these silk tops are like $200. Um, I feel like I've been getting more like 40 to 60, 40 to 50 resale, but I loved the color brown. Tell me you're not seeing like a giant stain that I missed. I'm a little nervous. It's also a size small, but it was really pretty. I mean, I, I love the color brown, but this will take a little bit of work. I'll have to steam that up and, you know, this will be a little bit more of a high maintenance sell, but I think it will be worth it considering I probably only paid like 550 for that. This was one of the only things I got from the men's department and this is a Bonobos quarter zip sweater. This is just a pretty consistent bread and butter brand for me. I don't know that I've sold a sweater recently. I typically find their button down shirts and khakis, but I thought this was really nice. And I do think this was, yeah, because it's an extra large, I went for it. It seemed to be in really good condition. I really love this Goodwill. I put two hours on the meter. That, that was like the limit for the parking spot that I got. and. I still had time to like really go through my cart and make some choices. It was pretty quiet on this day. It was a rainy Thursday afternoon. They also said that they brought out their new tag on Friday. So I have a feeling Friday is probably a really busy day. A lot of the yellow tags were picked over and one of the associates said that they had been pulling the yellow tags off the shelf since Tuesday. And I imagine those will probably be on their way to like a Goodwill outlet somewhere. So there weren't many yellow tags. So today they would have announced the new color and then whatever color would go on 50% off clearance and everybody who went in today would have first dibs on that new 50% off color. Maybe that's why it was kind of quiet and I still felt like I did pretty well. This is a Club Monaco sweater. I liked it. I did not look up comps, which is very dangerous with Club Monaco. It is a wool blend. It looks like a newer Club Monaco tag. I liked the style of it. Fingers crossed that I can get at least $30 for this. I think it's really pretty. I like the little ruffle. Well, it's like a little ruching here with like one ruffle. I thought it was really nice. So we'll see how it does. Spanx. I got this to the register and I said, what do you charge for like undergarments? She charged me $5. I was kind of hoping for three or four, but I paid five for this Spanx. I own this and it's great. Um, but I haven't, I don't know that I've sold one of these dresses before. I feel like I have a lot of Spanx tops and I've had like the compression bottoms or like a one piece, but not like this dress style. This is great. You can wear your own bra underneath or you can go bra less. This is like reinforced here. This is a size medium. It's really nice. This, we get to do some more research together. This was at the register. It was one of the very first things I got from the boutique section. I have plenty of dresses. I just thought this was really pretty and I'd never bought Tanya Taylor before. It looked like a, like a Revolve tag or something. So there's the tag. This is the dress, completely out of season, but maybe for people going on trips. And I love the maxi style of it. It's really beautiful. I just don't know. 
if it was a good pickup. It was $12.99. I was feeling lucky. So I'm like, all right, let's go for it. Let's see, but let's look. So I'm looking up Tanya Taylor floral maxi dress sleeveless. And a lot of people have listings over $150, but we know that that doesn't matter. Okay, I'm gonna read some of the sold. $85, that's new with tag, $35, $225, new with tag. It says that the original price was $7.95. Holy cow, $130 for another new with tag item. I'm not seeing this particular dress in any of the listings, but I will say that these are encouraging sold comps, $105, 245, 157, 150, 175, and then 53. So the lowest sold comp I saw was 35, and the highest sold comp, 245, but it was new with tag, and 225 new with tag. So not bad. I feel good, and I actually really love this more than some of the images that I'm looking at. So let me know if you have any experience with Tanya Taylor. I paid $12.99 for this. So who knows, I think that's it for clothing. I have some shoes, a couple fun houseware things. I got these Zara boots and they are like new. I always have my eyes open for white boots because I feel like white boots are something that are not easy to come by if you want them for a particular outfit. I mean, I suppose you can order anything online right now, but whenever I'm thrifting, I think they're very hard to come by in good condition. And these were the new color blue. They were $10 and these are like new. And I thought they were so cute. Just enough of a heel. They have a little bit of a square toe, kind of like a 60s throwback feel. They're leather, they're very nice. They are a size 39, a great size, and I'm hoping for like 40 or $50 for these sold. But I thought these were a great pickup. And yeah, it's very, very difficult to find white boots at the thrift store in such great condition. So happy with that. This I think was potentially a bad pickup. <laughs> and like I knew it when I was going through the register, but maybe not, maybe not. They're in beautiful condition. They show a tiny bit of wear on the sole, but they are made in Italy. They were not J. Crew factory. They were just J. Crew little flats with hearts. I gotta get these listed right away. All right, so I see one sold comp for $39, not bad. These were $8. I see a pair um, in white and black. So these are like navy blue and pink. The white and black ones, new with tag, sold comp for $89. And it looks like the retail was 148 on these. And they are a size eight. And then I got one more pair of shoes. These are in great shape, these Nikes. I looked at the bottom and I was like, man, those look like brand new. Aren't these so nice? I love that the laces had like this little gold on the end. So pretty. Um, these are, oh, that's why I got these two. Believe it or not, I ran a marathon when I lived in San Francisco. My husband was training for it and I was quickly realizing that I was gonna be like a runner's widow temporarily while he trained. So it was one of those, if you can't beat him, join him. And I met somebody who ran at my pace. So we ran together, we ran the rock and roll marathon. I remember every day I just prayed I would get pregnant. So I. I didn't have to run the marathon and I didn't get pregnant until after the marathon naturally, but Anthony was born in 99. So I think this was in 98 or 97. We did it through team and training. We raised money for leukemia. The sneakers that I bought were called the beast because I have flat Fred Flintstone feet. We used to go to this one specific sneaker store in California. When I lived in San Francisco, they hooked us up with like a running shop through team and training. And after that, they recommended I get the Zoom Pegasus. And so I had a series of Zoom Pegasus sneakers after I ran the marathon. I have warm feelings about the Zoom Pegasus. I don't remember what the beast was. I just thought it was such an awful name. I was self-conscious about my feet anyways, and then my sneakers were called the beast. I digress. These are Zoom Pegasus sneakers, and they are in pristine condition. And I have paid a fair amount of money for my Zoom Pegasus sneakers through the years, and these are like new condition. So these are a size eight. I don't know what the model number is, but um, when I saw that they were the Zoom Pegasus, I just knew that they were quality and they were absolutely beautiful. I paid $12 for these, but I loved them. The next two items are houseware little trinkets that I would happily keep for myself if the comps weren't great. I've never had a French press and I've always thought that they were pretty cool. And this was new with tag, and it was a Brandani French press, nine cups. And yeah, it was $5.99. 
blue was the new tag. It has all these little coffee beans and I've just always wanted to use a French press. So I may keep this. If the comps are decent, I may sell it. It's not always fun to ship glass, but I thought this was really cute. And yeah, I want to give French press a try. The problem with me is I like my coffee, like burning my mouth hot. And I've always just questioned how hot my coffee can be with a French press. So I'm not really sure if I'll keep that, but I'm gonna give it a try. This I love. This is a Starbucks mug from Boston. It says Boston right here and it's black and it's got the skyline. It's got the Zakem Bridge right here. Um, so I wonder what year this is from. I haven't seen this particular one. I usually see like the, you know, the one that they have in every state. There was a Georgia one there that I passed on. And the only reason I passed on it, I know people are gonna say those are worth money. I buy Starbucks mugs and then I don't list them. It is a problem of mine. I get them and then some of them are listed and some of them aren't. So I was just like, I'm just gonna get the Boston one because I will drink from this if Jay doesn't get mad at me because you know the one in one out policy he has. I'm a rebel when it comes to mugs. I just keep bringing them in without getting rid of them. How cute is this? There's like a little Starbucks shop here too. This is so cute and Maybe that's the Mayflower. Or this is this is probably the Boston Tea Party Museum. Anyway, it's such a cute mug and it's nice and big. So I got my French press and I got my Starbucks. I love it. That is all. I have my price tag right here. Oh, this was, what did I pay for this? I just ripped the price tag off. I think it was $2.99, not much. So here we go. Here's my receipt. I spent $174.33. It added up quickly. And I think that's because I did get like the two coats, which were $40 and that free people was 15. A lot of my shoes were 10 and 12. I was definitely making quick decisions and also spending up a little bit, but I have a really good sell through rate for this particular location with the things that I find. I'm learning not to fret too much about paying up for things if I think I can flip it relatively quickly. So let's just see, I got how many items? Does it say? 24. So 174.33, that also includes two bags I had to buy, divided by 24 items. So my average cost of goods was $7.26. A little bit more expensive here, but I'm also expecting a higher return on a lot of these items. So that's all for today. What did you think of my Boston Goodwill haul? I love this Goodwill and I've been in Boston a lot lately. So I'm trying to make the most of my time and I was able to scooch over there after dad's appointment. Thank you guys all for your love and support around my dad. Um, we are just surrounding him with a lot of love right now. I appreciate all your kind messages and my last video. That is all for today. If you enjoyed today's video, like and subscribe, and I will be back. Probably my next video will either be a ship and shop video or it will be another top five video. Thank you guys so much. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.